Well, hello, welcome. It is June 2nd, 2021, and this is Thoughts from the Word. Well, hello, welcome back to Thoughts from the Word. Today we're going to finish up with Ta, the last section of Psalm 119. So if you have your Bibles, turn there. Psalm 119, beginning in verse 169. I will put it up on the screen for you. It should be coming up any moment now. There we go. Uh, hear now the word of the Lord. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my plea come before you. Deliver me according to your word. My lips will pour forth praise, for you teach me your statutes. My tongue will sing of your word, for all your commandments are right. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let my soul live and praise you, and let your rules help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our Lord endures forever. Amen and amen. The psalmist finishes out this psalm, this prayer, by just lifting his heart up to God and reminding him. Look at the different times he speaks to God. Four times he begins with, let me or let my. Let my cry come before you. Let my plea come before you. Let your hand be ready. Let my soul live and praise you. Four times he's crying out to God and, and, and saying, let me lift up. I'm lifting up these praises to you. I'm lifting up this prayer to you. I'm lifting up my cries to you. I'm lifting up my pleas because of your word. Give me understanding, he says. Deliver me according to your word. Uh, uh, be ready to help me, for I've chosen your precepts. And then uh, uh, my soul live. let my soul live and praise you and let your rules help me. His word guides us and directs us and it carries us. In the very last verse, he admits that he's gone astray, just as we all have. I've gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. There are times where we do stray from God, times where we are lost. God is never lost. Times where we are lost, we remember God's word, but we're still struggling to walk and to return to him. We pray and ask God to find us, seek us, draw us back that we might live with him. We too should be praying this now that uh, God would just draw us back. We thank you, uh, O oh Lord, that you are there for us and that you do care for us. And we thank him that he has given us his word to remind us of that each and every day. Let's hear from uh, our Puritan brother today as we read the blessed work of the Spirit. O oh, blessed Spirit, to whom I owe such unspeakable mercies, let me, Lord, contemplate you today as the gracious, kind, compassionate comforter. For you are the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, and with mercy you, you sympathize with all the followers of Jesus in our afflictions, both of soul and body. How tenderly you show us our sins and lead us to the blood of Jesus to wash them away. How sweetly you visit, encourage, strengthen, instruct, lead, and guide us into all truth. And how powerfully at times, by your restraining grace, you enable us to put to death the deeds of the body that we may live. Holy, blessed, almighty Comforter, continue your visits to us. Come, Lord, and abide with me and be with me forever. Prove that you are the scent, that you are the scent of the Father and of the Son by coming to me in the name of Jesus, by teaching me all the precious things concerning Jesus, and by acting as the one who reminds us of Jesus. In you, and by your blessed work, I may know and live in the sweet enjoyment of fellowship with the Father, and with his Son, excuse me, with his Son, Jesus Christ, through the influence of the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Amen. And amen. Well, let's uh, close our time in Psalm 119 and our time together in prayer. 
Father, I pray that we would apply all the words that we have heard from Psalm 119 to our hearts, that your word would be precious to us, precious, more precious than gold or honey or silver or diamonds or anything that we consider of value. Father, that your word would be our rock that would keep us, that would guide us and direct us. Father, that your word would point us each and every day to your Son, Jesus Christ, and that in your word we would find the life that is found through Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, open it up to us today. Make it alive in our lives. Be with us as we go through this day. And Father, as we gather together tonight to study your word, I pray that you would apply it to our hearts and increase our faith. Father, we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us. Tomorrow we will be back. Uh, we'll be looking at some new passages as we hear some thoughts from the Word.